morning. Good morning, everybody. Um, it's a nice, uh, hot and sunny day in Florida. And I decided to make a short video on how to propagate water jasmine. Uh, water jasmine, the botanical name is Ritia religiosa. And the tree is called water jasmine because uh, it blooms with a lot of white, small flowers and smell uh, like jasmine. Um, this tree got very famous in the tropical bonsai community because of different reasons. The first one is that the tree is uh, very strong. I mean, you can cut the roots, you can defoliate the whole tree. You can strongly wire all the branches and it'll thrive. I mean, this tree is, is going to survive that. And that's why a lot of people are using it, even people that are starting with the hobby. And the other one is that the tree, uh, when it blooms, I mean, it turns white with all the flowers and it smells like jasmine, but it's, it's a very strong smell. If you put it inside the house, the whole house is going to smell like jasmine. And this is uh, my, my history with this tree. I mean, the way I found out about it, it was because I was in a shopping mall and the whole mall smelled like jasmine and everybody was like, where is that smell coming from? Um, so we kept walking and we found out that there was a uh, bonsai exhibition that day and there was this bonsai tree at the corner of the table uh, and we walked to it and there it goes. The smell was from that tree and everybody in the mall had to do that tree so after that I spoke with the owner and he sold me a little plant uh, a little water jasmine um, so I got that and I started working it uh, for you know bonsai tree purposes and later on I discovered how to how to propagate it and that's what I'm gonna show you today on this video um, how do how do I propagate it? Some other video I'm gonna uh, show you how to work with it. All right, this is a uh, water jasmine that has been I've been working with it uh, a while now. You see that is is wired. Um, it's not a big tree. If you compare it, for example, with this uh, cell phone case, this is a Note 8 cell phone case. So I mean, it's not a big tree. And I'm gonna show you where I got that uh, that tree from. I would say this is the mother of that tree. Right now, if you see it, it's fully defoliated, branches cut. Uh, it was repotted recently, and maybe uh, like in a week or two weeks you'll see that it's gonna be full of new leaves and maybe flowers. But this plant, this bonsai or pre-bonsai tree is where I got that other one from. And I'm gonna show you how. Coming back to this tree here. Um, if you look at this tree and you go closer here to the root base you see this here and this little guy here and if you look closer they come out of the roots from this bonsai tree so a lot of people don't know and they just rip it off or and throw it away but if you cut it right here on the front of the root and you know in between the tree and this plant and you cut down here also you're gonna have this small this small branch because I think that's like a branch coming out of the root if you cut that and you take part of that root with it and you plant it in a pot that's going to start growing as a separate plant. Same with this one here. See? That is coming out of the root. So when you cut it here, 
you pull this out being careful that you can bring like the you know the very thin uh, roots that are in there you can put it in a in a pot and I'm gonna show you now how it looks get the Gatorade out of the way because it's super hot and you put it in a pot like this and you have different plants you got one two three four five six and this six I took like one from this pot and all the other five from that other one when I repotted it and worked on it so no seeds no branch cuttings just from the root as soon as it starts you know having these small branches coming out of the roots you can take them off and make new plants from it and that's how this one came out of that big one over there and if you follow me here this is another one that came out of that tree there this one I put it in a big pot and let it grow so it has a nice trunk on it so we're gonna turn it around I think this is gonna be the front when I work with it but that's gonna be on another video and if you look carefully look inside here this one is coming out of the root so we can pull that out and plant it this also there's a big one here these are all coming from the roots and those are separate plants that you can start work on them and make them bonsai material or if you want to have you know uh, a pot inside the house so you can give like a nice smell to the house or if you want to put it like a you know nice bed uh, uh, in the backyard you can also do that and have nice uh, plants and nice smells around the garden so this is it it's simple but a lot of people didn't know about it so I'm showing it to you so you can start making your own batch of water jasmines if you have a water jasmine thank you for watching the video and later we're gonna make more showing how how to work on them bye